Hello and welcome to a very special video on the channel because not only do we have dinosaurs, because we always have dinosaurs on the channel, but we have been invited to the Toyohashi Natural History Museum after hours. So we basically get a private tour of this amazing space. This whole park here is filled with loads of life-size dinosaurs in loads of bonny colours, some of them looking uh, very angry, so I'll, I'll, I'll not stay here too long, no, no, no. And uh, I don't know what I'm saying now. <laughs> I got carried away. <laughs> Actually, what makes this even more special is that there is a Pokemon exhibit on at the moment, prehistoric fossilised Pokemon, which are basically just dinosaurs. So why don't you join me on this amazing adventure? See what this whole place has to offer, let's go. So here we are inside. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got like, oh, giant out. Oh, these are iron. Wow, iron dinos. Dinonychus. You can put your head inside. You can put your head inside. Of you. This is what the T Rex see. More importantly, this is what you see just before you die, I think. I don't think this is what the T Rex sees. Look at this. You need, you need the music. T Rex. That is ginormous. Like a dream come true. Oh, if only you knew. We're just getting started. That would be interesting to have like a, a natural sort of depiction of a T-Rex and then Jurassic Park's recreation. Because the one in Jurassic Park would be like, I don't know, like twice as big or something like that ridiculous. The detail is gorgeous. And then of course, next to it, you have the Triceratops. And when one would get bigger, the other one would also respond. And you kind of see that in evolution. So as you had Nano -ty Tyrannosaur, I don't even know if that's a real dinosaur anymore. I'm sure there's gonna be people that'd be like, that's that's not real anymore. It's me. There's so many things to look at, we'll start here. <laughs> there come. We have an Edmontosaurus. I'll always remember it being, what was it, in JPOG. It was T-Rex's favorite food. Found fossils of Edmontosaurus with actual teeth marks from T-Rex embedded in them, showing that there was actually like a predator-prey relationship there. The mummy of Edmontosaurus. This one looks interesting because you got, I think that's like a Lambiosaurus. <laughs> Carithosaurus. <laughs> Parasaurolophus. <laughs> and then possibly a Mutaburosaurus. <laughs> It is a Montosaurus, but I got the other ones right. We'll get points. <laughs> Master, I need you to translate. <laughs> this was um, found in 1910 in Wyoming. That's what it says, I don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, the actual mummy is in Zenkenberg in Germany. Be right back, we're gonna flash to Germany. That would be an expensive video. And to accompany all of those fossils, they also had a mock-up of what a dinosaur dig site would look like. But really, we had just scratched the surface of what this museum had to offer. Wow. Oh, okay, here we go. It is so weird not having to like shuffle around people and just be like, where'd you start? Oh, look at that. You can definitely tell like loads of thought has went into this museum, putting the shadows of the skeleton, but like, you know, the Jurassic Park silhouette up there. <gasps> There's a Pokemon. It's like Aerodactyl. Paleobotany here. You like fossilized plants? There's one. <laughs> so then I spent the next half an hour. Then I spent the next half hour. God damn it. James, no, I'm doing it professionally. Okay, okay, do it. And then I spent the next half hour looking at all the goodies this shop had to offer. It's, it's not a shop, it's a museum. <laughs> and then... I love this as well, like Ramparinkus and uh, like feathered uh, birds as well, or it's like goose. dinosaurs. It's not a goose. <laughs> it's like an Archaeopteryx. That's where they all ended up happily ever after. Dead. <laughs> it's Kabuto. It's Kabuto. Whitney's now shooing me along because we're only allowed so long in here. <laughs> it's already been 30 minutes. We need a timer in the top corner. Be like, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, you know, and like Mario runs out of time. Oh, that's a little over raptor. He likes eggs. Close up of that. That's why we're here. It's beautiful. <laughs> you need to get it from the front, Helen. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> that's the look. Now there it is. After circling it and walking underneath it, we finally have it. It is a, uh, a Yuan Maosaurus. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of that one before. Oh, wow. They have a whole studio. 
Look at that! Fine showing like how big like an actual leg would be. Oh, that's a Brachiosaurus leg. The Zephactinus lived in what they called Hell's Aquarium. Play the soundtrack. There we go. <laughs> Now we're approaching the time before the dinosaurs, actually. But then we head over to like Dimetrodon. Oh, wow. Yes. Why wasn't that in Dominion? Now that's terrifying. <laughs> Give the parents nightmares. Unfortunately, I couldn't film everything that the museum had to offer because we were under time constraints and all that. They also had a frilled shark on display. Normally, these sharks live at the very depths of the ocean. I would have preferred to have seen it alive, but I'm not going down in a submarine anytime soon. It will be. There we go, there we go. Ready? Oh, there it is! <laughs> Got the little Grimer coming out of the bin. Now we can feed Grimer. Here you go. Um, yum, yum, yum. Yes! <laughs> Never remember what that one is. Cranodus? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when we go inside. Got an Aerodactyl with a Pikachu. Ammonite being the inspiration for Ammonite. They took creative <laughs> liberties with that one. <laughs> Big googly eyes. Amusta. Oh, he's still called Amusta. Amusta, yeah. <laughs> in Japanese as well. First off, I just want to apologize for the flickering you can see here. I swear in the preview finder, it didn't show any of this. But hey ho, here we are. The Pokemon exhibit was a whole lot bigger than I was expecting. They had almost all of the fossil Pokemon in either a fossil form, skeletal form, or even their in game form. I can't tell you how cool it was to see all these Pokemon in person. Back when I was a kid playing Pokemon Red on my Game Boy, I would have never believed something like this could have existed. And for anyone who's a Pokemon fan like I am, there are little lore easter eggs in the descriptions here. Like our Omanite and Tortuga are the ancestors of Octillery and Wartortle respectively. Even though the signs in the exhibit itself were only in Japanese, they had a QR code you could scan that let you see them in English. <laughs> yeah, some of the pieces had really bad flickering, so I'll have to just show you them in still image form. You of course still have to see them. Look at the effort that went into these. What was amazing to see was the level of detail that went into not only the fossil pieces themselves, but also the information boards. It was great seeing the artist's take on dinosaurs. One, two, three, oh, four, oh, and okay. five. And it was at this point I was told that one of the two people that chaperoning us around the museum was the paleontologist that appears on the Pokemon illustration boards. Ichida-san. Oh, really? That's you! So is he a paleontologist? Yes. Oh, really? Now that I knew Ichida-san was a paleontologist, I of course couldn't waste this opportunity. So with only one camera and one microphone, I asked Ichida-san if he would agree to an interview. And luckily, he said yes. I just wish I'd brought more cameras and equipment. So we are with the uh, paleontologist that is um, actually featured on the Pokemon billboards that you've seen everywhere. Um, would you like to introduce yourself and what your name is and what you do here? So my name is Masahiro Ichida. So <laughs> I'm a curator uh, of this Toyohashi Museum of Natural History. <laughs> and, and what is it that you specialize in? えっと、生き物がどうやって化石になるか。っていうのが一番気になっていて、僕が一番面白いと思っているのが、どうやって化石ができるのか。うん。とこ、それと、あとは、あれですね。あの、説明ですね。あの、なんで生き物が絶滅
it, it's it's amazing. Like congratulations on all that. <laughs> um, uh, went dig sites all around the world. What was your most interesting dig site that you went to? The most fun? Eto, naitai hitori de, ano field work o shiteru no de, ano hitori de yatteru toki ni, ano, ma yappari ichiban suki na fuzuri na o mitsuketa toki ga ii desu ne. Nano de, so desu ne, hitori de yama no naka de, ano fuzuri na o they're summoned to you. They're drawn to you. Really? It's a gift. It's a talent. Yeah, but it's like, Right, okay, so you can tell by the look of the rock. If you had advice to give to someone who wants to become a paleontologist, what would you tell them? あの、家族旅行で初めて化石を取ったのが最初で、その最初に取った化石は不随なだったので、もうそればっかりずっとやってるんで、ま、まずは外に行ってみるっていうのがいいかな。あの、取った時の快感はもう忘れられないので。そう
ハンマーで叩いたらもうこっち面がもう完全に出てきたので。Oh. Oh, wow. okay. <笑>すごい。<笑>すごい<笑><笑><笑>ね、<笑>ここみんな北海道で僕がこ,これ全部あのなんだ、えー、と組み上げると1個、oh, really? wow, that's a big armonite. これぐらいかなこれぐらいですね6 0ンチぐらい。That's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> How long would it take you to excavate all of that, would you say? これはすごい時間がかかる。こいつはあ物による,よるんですけど、こいつは多分数ヶ月かかります。Oh, wow. okay, okay. そうここにすごい薄い石があるので、これをきれいにしないといけないので、ここが本当の表面で、ここが面白いところが。うん、で、周りはもうあの石の部分なので、これをちょっとずつ削っていくっていう作業を。You have to be quite delicate, I assume, because you don't want to break it. そうですね。だからここで1時間かかりました。Oh, this one, okay. <笑> Only. <笑><笑>これが、Cretaceous. Oh, Cretaceous period. Cretaceous wow, period. okay, okay.、Uh, 68 million years ago ish. 68. 68 million years ago, to, it could be further, but around about 60, 65 million years ago is when Cretaceous period ended.、And、Triassic goes all the way back to like 200 odd million years ago. So, do you know when ammonites were at their biggest? うん、日本でも1メーター超えるようなアンモナイト見つかっているので、最大のものはどれくらいになるか最大のが2メーターぐらいだったかな。So biggest... Oh, wow! <laughs> 大きいだよ。<laughs> I feel like we, if we need to let you get back to work then, if we do. <laughs> Holding you up, yeah! And now to check out the best part of any museum, the gift shop! So come with me, because we've got some exclusive Pokemon merchandise. We have. A Pikachu! It's dressed very much similar to、uh, kind of what Alan Grant wears in Jurassic Park with the、uh, red bandana. And、uh, I, I think I might need to take this with me. But then, not only have you got that, you've got loads of other sort of Pokemon. Oh, I was thinking if they got all the fossil Pokemon. But you've got Kecleon, Donphan, Fampy, Tropius. That's the one you were thinking was a dinosaur.、Like、it、that. kind of is. Technically, that is a fossil new, because there was like the Pokemon movie where it had a fossil. You've got Girafferig. Omanite there because you've got to have an Omanite. I might have to get that. That looks really cool. You have to just come here just to friggin' buy the merchandise. Look at that. Brilliant. I never used to rate to Karatomi because I was like, oh, they're all like bits and stuff. But actually, after you know, having to buy some because that's all they had over here, I was pleasantly surprised. And I, I'm now a converted、uh, to Karatomi fan. <laughs> that's so cool. The detail on him. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Okay, we're gonna have to buy a lot. Okay. Oh, we can't. We, I don't think we can come because no one's working. And you've got this is a brilliant idea hollow for the skeleton, and that looks so good. And here you go, it's his favorite Anorith, I think it is. And if you've enjoyed that video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye. There's loads of things to see here in the to. to the Toyahashi Natural.、Uh, <laughs> the Toyahashi City. Oh, Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special video where today we're in Toy. We're doing all hands, hands is what we're doing. <laughs>